Okay, this is the Roland SIP 301 bass guitar preamp. And this is part of a series of uh, studio processors Roland made in the, the late 80s. There was also a SIP 300 guitar preamp, the two units, the bass guitar preamp and the guitar preamp. Uh, very, very similar in design. They share some of the same circuit boards. The difference is the uh, guitar preamp had a distortion section and the bass preamp has a compressor section. And then from that point on, they're almost identical. The uh, frequency settings were slightly different for the uh, equalizer and the uh, guitar uh, version of this, but they're very, very similar units. So there's uh, three essential features to this unit. One is a vintage optical type compressor circuit. Uh, the next section is a three band selectable equalizer section. And then lastly, there are flexible outputs, effects ins and returns, unbalanced and balanced outputs with uh, independent level controls. So we'll start with the input side to things where the uh, optical compressor is. First on the SIP301 are high and low gain inputs, and I can tell you there's plenty of gain on both of them. I've got a uh, guitar plugged into the, the, uh, the low input gain. And I'll move it over to the high input. And uh, I'm using an Ibanez IMG 2010 guitar, and I actually find the low input gain circuit works just fine. So you've got high and low uh, input gain circuits. Okay, after the uh, input uh, circuitry, there is a compressor, and this compressor is a really great compressor because it uses an optical element instead of an elaborate voltage-controlled amplifier. And the advantages here are twofold. You have a quieter circuit, and you also have a circuit with the characteristic response of a uh, optical compressor. And basically, you have a little LED changes in level of brightness um, that's in a single element along with a uh, photoresistor as the LED gets brighter. The photoresistor allows more uh, signal to pass through, and, and the photoresistor just like uh, kind of functions like the volume pot in your guitar. And in addition to being a quieter circuit, because the response time of the photoresistor and the LED is not quite instantaneous, you get the characteristic softer sound of a, uh, a, a photo compression circuit. So there are three controls here a threshold, the level at which the uh, compression will kick in. Uh, level control and dynamic range and uh, you, you turn the compressor on using the front panel switch clicks over the light comes on or you can use a foot switch so let's plug a foot switch in and in this case I'm using a, uh, a boss uh, FS 6 foot switch it's basically two foot switches in one and basically it's just set up as a basic on off foot switch you can see the LEDs changing on the foot switch at the same time direct and, and with compression so I'm going to lower the threshold so the compression kicks in earlier need to add a little gain to make up Now the dynamic range knob, when it's set to maximum, that actually means you have very little compression. It means you have more dynamic range, and of course compression limits dynamic range. So it's kind of like the uh, compression ratio control on a standard compressor. When we engage it and we have dynamic range at maximum, there's not much difference. But boy, as we turn it up, you can really hear the compression kick in.
Classic sound of a of a heavily compressed guitar pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. 